this is lesson two. Um, how to move like a pro, even if you're not. What the hell? All right, well, it's very simple. Um, your mouse contains a left click and a right click. If you hold down both of your left and right clicks, you will move forward. I know this sounds simple, but now we're going to get to the part how to make you a pro. Well, if we escape out and we go back into our key bindings, a lot of us out there uh, are used to using the arrow forward, arrow backwards, arrow sideways, left, right. Okay, well, th the problem with this is, uh, the pro <laughs> problem with this is if I am pointing at a target, let's say this guy right here, and I need to it's shooting at me personally and I'm just only an arrow turner I have to turn it and then push forward to see how much time that takes and not to mention the fact I cannot shoot at that target when I'm doing this see I'm, I'm pushing my buttons but sure enough I'm not getting any attacks whatsoever there we go there's a there's a little bit of an attack Every once in a while, I can get an attack or two off, but once again, you got blind spots, right? So, what what does that do for me? Well, that's gonna make my DPS suck, and it's also going to make it right where, if I am being targeted or if there's an AOE on the ground, it's gonna make my reaction time a lot less because I actually have to physically turn my character away from the scene and then push forward now if you're pushing forward and you turn you're still sucking up valuable time that you didn't have to suck up now how, how can we fix this well it's really easy we're gonna escape out we're gonna go back into our key bindings from key bindings uh, scrape left is gonna be your left arrow left click Scrape right, this will be your right arrow. Hit OK, hit return. And what this is going to do is make it right where I'm scrafing. What does scrafing do for you? Well, real simple. Let's, let's uh, attack that target. See how I'm able to just use my arrow key. And my arrow key is basically still keeping me on target and moving out of the way. Now if I use these arrow keys and my mouse at the same time I can still be attacking the character and running the circles around him shooting him. See that? It comes in very handy for uh, things like PvP. Comes in handy for PvP. It comes in handy for PvE mainly just to move out of the way. So now, if you're somebody who uses those arrow keys, your arrow keys are now going to scrape you instead of turning you. And if you utilize your left click and your right click on your mouse pad, that is going to allow you to go forward and now you can do diagonals and all sorts of fun stuff, always keeping on to the boss, right? Now, another part of this that I will add to people who have uh, did Lesson 1, I'm going to add something to Lesson 1 to make you an even better person with your, your deal here, right? So what we're going to do is go into key mindings again, and now we're going to go back into action bar, and right where 5 is, we're going to left click it. And now we're going to hold down the control button and roll the wheel forward. <gasps> now rolling forward is 5. We're going to left click 6 and hold down the control button and roll backwards. Now rolling backwards is uh, 5 and 6, right? And if you were somebody with uh, the two extra buttons on the sides, what you do is left click again and then hold down the control button, hit your four button, 
And then for action eight, you're gonna left click that, we'll down the control button and click the next button for five. And say okay, and now return. So now, because the control button is really close to uh, the arrow keys, so now if you have your fingers on your arrow keys to scrape, whenever you hold down the control button, you'll get the next target in line. So hold down the control button, look at that, there's my birds. Still holding down the control button, going backwards. Now I have an interrupt. Still holding down the control button. Now I just did my Titan spike. And keeping my fingers down on the control button using the other button, I am now using my AOE attack. So, by doing this, now not only did you take your El Cheapo mouse, and either stretch it to buttons one through uh, four, or if you have the next step in El Cheapo mouse with the two buttons on the side, you now can do five through eight. So now, officially, just by holding down one button, you, you get a whole new set of attacks, giving you essentially a eight button rotation that you can now put on your mouse and because we have switched your your turns into left and right and being your strafes, you are now moving like a pro because you are no longer going to use your arrow back or your arrow forward. You're only going to use arrow left, arrow right, and then, of course, your left click and your right click at the same time making it right where you can move out of danger rather rapidly and you can still keep your eye on the target. And that, in a nutshell, is how you can move like a pro and play like a pro and not be a pro. Now, there's one more to this that I will add inside of a PvP episode for those who PvP, but Essentially, I just now showed you how to have eight buttons or four buttons on... You can have four buttons on a crappy normal mouse, and you can have eight buttons on a El Cheapo gaming mouse, right? Which would definitely be all of your rotation plus your additional cooldowns means, which... Uh, you will never have to use your fingers on any of the buttons on the upper half of the keyboard. You can centralize your right where you're used to keeping your fingers on your arrow keys. And right next to that, you can put your pinky just on the control key. And you can unlock those four additional attacks, which are uh, Murder of Crows, the that, um, you know, my AOE. Alright, pretty simple, pretty easy. Um, that, in a nutshell, is how you can be a pro mover and not be a pro.